This is me, Josh Hunter. I'm uh, on the planet Earth presently. Um, I, uh, I'm not necessarily having a conflict, so to speak, but um, as you know, I kind of I'm kind of against the idea of uh, traveling into outer space. Uh, the idea of getting into a ship and leaving the Earth seems like not the best idea. Um, I've given several uh, pieces of evidence as to why this is a bad idea. Uh, over uh, and, uh, through some of my previous videos, I have said this. I don't remember which ones, so if you, I mean, you'd have to find them. I don't, you know. I'm, uh, so I have some other evidence to, or I guess I don't know if it's evidence, but it's uh, speculation as to why human beings should uh, give up the space exploration activity, at least until they have fully explored uh, the ocean, uh, the waters that we already have, also as well as fully established or proven to um, this world anyway that they... Uh, are able to manage their resources effect, uh, effectively, efficiently. So, um, some, a lot of people believe in this thing called visualization. It's the idea of holding a picture, right? And uh, you, you, the way you, when you visualize, was an aspect of the the New Age movement, the New Age spiritual movement. Uh, when you want something that you desire, that you believe that you should have. He uses faculty, which every human being is supposedly endowed with, called visualization. And so you just imagine what you want, and you draw it forth. Some people also refer to it as the law of attraction. So you got to realize that every human being that is born on the earth is born into um, All right, you know that song by the Eagles. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Here's my interpretation of that. The stars in the sky are, yes, they are moving, but from the perspective of Earth, they are essentially fixed. What you were looking at when you look up into the night sky, those stars, all of those points make up a picture, a, um, a photograph, uh, so to speak. Or, and when you leave the Earth, you're essentially going into a picture. Um, the perspective of the, I mean, the, the picture of the Earth. All right, I'm, this is a little messy, but um, maybe I should have thought of this. I should have written. No, no, no. I, I don't. I don't ever want to speak too well. <laughs> uh, the problem with. Um, all right. So, as as you've lived on the Earth, you've accepted the picture of the night sky. Every day you are born. Um, or every day that you live, you breathe Earth's air and you accept the starlight in the night sky. And that, in your acceptance of that kind of uh, burns a picture onto you. <laughs> um, <sighs> I Maybe mean, I shouldn't describe Yeah, I don't want to describe this too accurately because I could be wrong. Maybe it's a good idea. Okay. I don't believe that eloquence is, n is necessary here. So... When you're, when you're on the Earth, you have a very specific perspective. What the picture looks like from here is specific to the Earth, specific to this system. If you leave the Earth and were to go to some other system, the picture would look different. The night sky would look different. The uh, arrangement of the stars would look different. You would literally be going into a different picture. Um, potentially so unfamiliar to you that you could not even sustain, uh, you couldn't even try to, to live there comfortably. you got to realize, for example, people use mathematics to, uh, to, to go into outer space. You have to use math in order to function in outer space. But that mathematics is based upon, um, well, I guess it's based upon our life here on the Earth. It's entirely possible that if you were to go and, and leave into another system, that math would not be um, accurate. <laughs> now, I know this is basically conjecture. We assume that, well, <clears throat> if 1 plus 1 is 2 here, then 1 plus 1 must be 2 in all the other places. We don't know that. We don't know what type of things are out there, What, how reality could be 
how reality could be bent and twisted and contorted into things that are completely unrecognizable. Um, for example, there's this, um, what do you call it, a mathematical, uh, I don't know, let's say structure. I know, I use a lot of the words, same words over and over again, so what? Anyway, well, maybe no one's saying that, I guess I'm just thinking out, I don't know. Anyway, um, if you have uh, seven circles of equal size, six of them will fit evenly uh, across or around a circle of the uh, same <laughs> equivalent size. Okay, so it's six around one. If you have six circles and they are all the same size, they will all fit around exactly one circle uh, of that exact same size. So to me, that is kind of like a... Um, a, real, a reality identification it lets you know where you are mathematically and in, in the mathematical universe as far as uh, man. Okay, anyway, so if you, like, want to know, like, where you are mathematically, um, this thing is kind of an unchanging thing when you think about the structure of our world. Because, I mean, and I hope this isn't scary. To me, it's extremely frightening. But um, if you are watching this video, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you, you should have gotten over this type of fears. Um, but, I mean, the idea of, like, <laughs> the idea of, like, you know, seven circles of equivalent size fitting around, you know, one, like, <laughs> one circle. I mean, to me, that's frightening. Like, that's a, that's a complete break in structure, a mathematical structure. Like, because that's not something you could... <laughs> it would be so different. It would be such an indicator. It's kind of like, um, what do you call it? It'd be like your totem, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> anyway. Um, from Inception, you know, the movie where, like, you go into, like, a dream, and then you go into, like, a dream within a dream, and, like, the totem lets you know, like, if you're living in a dream or not, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, so this is something you can draw to let you know that you're in the, this common reality with which you're most familiar. So if you have, like, a quarter or, like, a circle, something that you can, um, you know, draw a circle around, just draw six circles, and then draw... Uh, one circle, uh, I mean, draw six circles around one circle of the same size, and that'll let you know if that you're in this mathematical reality. If seven circles fit around the same circle, if eight circles <laughs> fit around the same, if ten or if four circles fit around the same circle, then you know you're not here. You are in some completely different reality. And I wouldn't know how you would get back. Um, I know this is kind of... But you, you have to try and... Um, so how would you build a bridge back to the six? Hot up in the six right now. Hot up in the six. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Uh, so six circles. Okay. How do you get back to this reality? Um. All right, as long as you remember six, all right? So simple math, okay? So if you're in a place where seven circles of equivalent size fit around one circle of equivalent size, then, um, I don't know, you'd have to, how would you do that? I don't know. I guess I'll have to figure that out. That's important. Um, I mean, this would be valuable, I think, much, much later on. <laughs> because by my count, I mean, we're not going anywhere for at least 50 years maybe 60, because uh, these guys, I mean, they don't, they can't even, you guys can't even get your water right, um, but like, maybe 200 years from now, yeah, that's some serious shit, so I want to make sure that I've done my part, because I don't know, I can't even imagine what that would be like, to live in such a completely, a completely different reality, um, I mean, I can't imagine, but I won't, so, I've got forgot, for all we know, maybe, I don't even want to speculate, because that's a shape. That's what I'm talking about. It's a shape. It's a specific shape that, 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 that shows you that is consistent 
Um, oh, wait a minute. You know what? You know how that would be possible? If you... Okay, you would have to... All right. The way you would have seven circles around one circle, maybe if you had, like, a different... If it wasn't, like, a base 10 system. It was, like, a base 11 system or base 15. I don't know. But uh, six circles around one circle is emblematic of the base 10 system. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or do you include zero? I guess you have to figure that out. But um, if you can find a way to create a base 10 system while you were in, in any other type of math uh, uh, system that doesn't have... You know, so if you're in a 15, a base 15 system, if you can find a way to create, create numbers, that's how you'd have to do it. If you were in some other place, some very foreign place, you'd have to find a way to create numbers and create your own mathematical system. So... So, uh, so if, if they're, if you're in a place and they're all, they've all got like 15 fingers or, <laughs> or whatever, then you would have to try and remember if you have it. I mean, I'm assuming you would still have, if you have 10 fingers, then that, that would imply that you belong in a, in a base 10 system. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think that's what, so if you are able to create numbers, if you are able to create numerical systems, so a type of training for the people who still believe that they should go into outer space, a good type of training would be to create new mathematical systems or new numerical systems. So we're accustomed to counting, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you wanted to do some type of exercises, you would try and create a, a numerical system. For example, you would try excluding the number zero. <laughs> Fuck, maybe this is dangerous. Yeah, it probably is. Well, it's an exercise, but it could be... Uh... Anyway. Um, so, uh, so creating d different mathematical sy or numerical systems, so it's you, if you excluded the zero, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 10, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21 and just always skip the zero that in itself is a system okay that's a base nine system if I, I could be misusing the terminology I have not studied mathematics heavily like I said I I, I enjoy the stability of math um, I, I enjoy the, the the order of math but I don't know a lot of mathematical stuff like I don't I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't prove a lot of things I don't but I just like these ideas they to me, they, they seem, they're comforting in their stability. So, um, so yeah. So you just have to create a system and then whatever way you wanted to get back from, from whatever, you know, star system you were in, you just have to try and just recreate your base 10 system and, and build, um, conceptual technology off of that and, I don't know, you the rest, I mean, you should, I don't know how you got there to begin with, so, I mean, that's, that's more your problem than it is mine, but, uh, I don't like people being too far away from what, where they belong, so, all right, what was I trying to say, okay, so, the, 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 while you were living on the earth, you were living in this picture of earth, and while you were living on the earth, you were not necessarily in the picture, but you watch it, if you leave the earth, once you cross the threshold of the moon, you are literally going into the picture, you know, so think like Last Action Hero or Ghostbusters 2, okay? You're literally going into the picture and in some ways giving up uh, some aspect of your free will because then you are compelled to play a part and your ability to choose is diminished greatly. This is my speculation. Um, obviously, I've never been in... <laughs> anyway, um, so I would just like to... I would like this to be a sobering thought for people who are have romanticized the idea of space travel uh, if you really really feel like you need to explore something then fucking go into the ocean okay build a fucking submarine <laughs> something and because uh, you really don't know what's out there I mean, there's no way i mean at the very least you could send robots out there i mean you have sent robots but even that i'm not sure that's the best idea anyway because I mean, they could there could be optical viruses out there that you're not aware of once you once you even see it and like that's it i mean anyway of course, being on the Earth, that would that should, should naturally be a type of guard against, you know, optical viruses. You know that Voyager spacecraft has gone farther. It's in trans-Neptunian areas right now. I wonder if that... Had, nah, that's ridiculous. It's like a movie or something. Anyway. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching.